Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a continuous contract to load over 20 years of historical futures data on MetaTrader 5. Now, like I did said, this video will be showing off futures data. So if you haven't already, you may need to log in to an approved futures trading account, which can be done through the file menu and then logging into a trade account. Now, if you aren't familiar with this process, feel free to refer to our latest video showing you how to log into an approved futures trading account. Now, as for this video, to receive historical data, you'll actually need to create a continuous contract on MetaTrader 5. Now, fortunately, MetaTrader 5 actually packs in over 20 years of historical data for contracts that do have that data available. Most contracts do, so feel free to try it out for yourself and test out different contracts with this continuous symbol format. Now to create a continuous symbol on MetaTrader 5, it's actually quite simple. You'll need to head over to the market watch board here on the left hand side. If this isn't open, just simply go to view and click on market watch. Once you have this open, simply click on click to add. And now we'll just need to type in the futures symbol of our choice. But to create a continuous symbol, you'll simply just need to type in the at symbol first. This designates to MetaTrader 5 that you are creating a continuous symbol. Now from here, you'll just need to type in the future symbol as you might expect. And for this video, I'll be showing off a continuous symbol for the E-mini NASDAQ 100. So the symbol for that is ENQ. And as you can see, it does populate our market watch board here. If we left click this and then press enter, we now have our continuous symbol for the E-mini NASDAQ 100. Now from here, if we'd like to look at historical data, we can just right click it and open up a chart window. Now to show this off in an easier way to see, I'm actually going to be changing this to a monthly time frame so we can scale all the way out. And because there is over 20 years of historical data, this does take some quite time to load. So just be aware of that and may take a little bit depending on your computer speed. So as you can see, we're already starting to scale out and we're all the way back to 2012. I do believe this contract reaches all the way back to 1997. So once it is fully loaded, we can begin to scale out. You can do so by left clicking and holding within the horizontal scale region, which is on your X axis down here. Once you do see that little menu icon that pops up that does say his horizontal scale, you can left click and then we can actually drag to the right and that'll zoom out our time frame here. It doesn't look like we're completely loaded because it isn't going on the way. We're right now we're at 2005, 2004, and we still have data loading in. But as you can see, we're almost 13 years back now from the current date. So as it continues to load, you will receive more data. Now this does work for the other timeframes as well. I just figured I would show you it on a monthly time frame, due to the fact that we're able to zoom out with ease. If I do say, for example, put it on a one minute time frame, we'll still receive the data, but we may be sitting here for quite some time just scrolling in and out to get back all the way to that 1997 historical data. Now again, continuous contracts are supported on pretty much every futures contract that you can access on this platform. Like I did say, depending on when the contract was originally released, the time ranges and how far back this historical data goes does vary. I know you can receive over 20 years of historical data on the E-mini S&P 500 as well. So it's good to keep that in mind. Once again, just to show you off real quick, we'll just simply need to type in the at symbol. This time I'll show you the E-mini S&P 500. We'll just type in at EP, click enter. Again, just simply right click here, open up your chart window. And then if you need to, you can change the time frame as you need. If we go back monthly, as you can see, our historical data starts to pour in. But that just about does it for this video, guys. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do have any further questions, feel free to ask them on our community forum, which can be accessed on community.optimistfutures.com.
Once again, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.